Hello, my name is John Hill, and I am one of the E&M product specialists for Siemens. And today I'd like to talk to you about the local project server within TIA Portal. Uh, this is a feature that I think is often overlooked and has a lot of functionality and uses that I hope you find handy. Uh, when we're in Portal, I have a project here that is open, and right now all I have in it is the hardware. Uh, no programming has been done yet. And if I come up under Options and Settings, down here on the side under project server uh, we have the local project server if we were going to add other project servers like maybe on a, a remote server or something like that this is where we could also add that connection uh, but today we're just going to be working right here on the local machine and you see here we have some other settings that we can check into changing where we want to store the sessions and things like that uh, so once we've verified that and know that what port our local project server will be using. We can come under project and manage server projects. And you notice here the first thing it asks is if we want to start the local project server. In this case I'm going to select yes. And that will get our project up and running. Now before I go and add this project to the server I want to open up something else. I'm going to come in here under my TA project server version 16 administration and I want to add the local server to this administration panel. Uh, this is where a lot of the functionality will actually come in later. Uh, in our case here, we noticed from our local project server name uh, that it is actually a .tcp setup. And the port that it had in there was 8837. And you can always go back and verify this uh, when you're trying to add in other projects. And we'll just add that in. And we see there that we have that uh, closed right there. Uh, I'm going to minimize this for a little bit and here we will add the project to the server. You see here the project name is going to match what I have currently called this one and, and I can add in any type of comments that I want here for uh, just tracking purposes if you will. And we'll get that added to our server. And right here it's going to ask if we want to use this as multi-user engineering or exclusive engineering. Uh, the exclusive engineering is something that Siemens added to Portal with version 16. Uh, and it really has a lot of functionality if you want to work with uh, a remote project server on another machine. Uh, but for our purposes today, I, I'm going to leave this under the multi-user engineering just to kind of show some of the flagging that it will do uh, when you're working on a project. So there we have our project added to the server. Uh, now I'm going to come in here and make some changes to it uh, just to kind of get things rolling for us. Uh, so I added that in. I'm going to do a quick compile just to make sure that everything looks good there. Uh, and that all looks happy. Uh, so now you see here uh, I added in that function block. I haven't done any other changes, uh, but I have a flag here. So that shows me that I've made changes uh, to my local session here, uh, which you come up to the top here, you see it appended an underscore ls underscore one. Uh, so that's local session one that we're currently working in. Uh, and I can come up here and do a check-in. So that shows me, will show me whatever things that are different that we're adding in, and we can start our check-in. Uh, it flags us that it has to be saved, so we'll go ahead and save it. And then once we get everything checked in, uh, we'll keep our local session open and keep working here. Uh, you, you notice that our flag is now cleared over here. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Now uh, we added that function block, but we didn't do anything with it. So let's go ahead and put that into our main program and add our data block that corresponds to it. And now you see we've got a couple of flags that show up. So let's go ahead and do another check in. And there are different places here, you know, you could come under message and you could add in some comments and things like that. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to uh, leave things going. And now I've made a couple of changes, so let's see what happened in our administration panel. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Here we, we see the project that we added to the server. And here is my history. 
So here you can see the different type times that I added things to it. Uh, from here I can actually click on these sessions and I can lock them if I want to save them for longer. Uh, I can actually, one of the neat functionalities and the reasons I think this is often overlooked is if you've got a really important project and you're making incremental changes and something happens that uh, doesn't quite go the way you want it to, I, I can actually roll this back to the selected version and bring that up here. Uh, so as you're going, uh, if you have a couple iterations, one really worked well and all of a sudden something goes a little little haywire on you, this is a nice easy way to recover, get back to where you were uh, without going in and trying to remember what changes you made and how to undo them. Uh, so that's basically the functionality of the local project server. Uh, hopefully we'll do a video a little bit later on exclusive engineering, the exclusive engineering with a project server instead of the local server. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, please contact your local ENN office and they will help you get in touch with one of the Siemens specialists. Thank you.